Hi, Ty at Buco.net here. I am here with the fabulous Terry Rob Band. They just did a smoking set as you're watching right now. So I'm going to do a little interview here with these guys. Um, Terry, great job on Jelly Behind the Sun. You remembered all the words. <laughs> um, I want to ask you about your songwriting process. Um, do you build more around words or the music first, or does it just kind of depend? Kind of depends. Yeah, sometimes I just have an idea and then I kind of vamp on that and then I write song, uh, music to it or sometimes I have music from another song and then lyrics from another song and put them together. How many original songs do you think you've written? Oh, I don't know. There's always like three or four on my CDs and the new one is mostly all original. Except for Jeff wrote a couple. Um, tell us a little bit of your work with people like uh, Henry Vestine, Ramblin' Rex, and uh, John Fay, and kind of how they influenced you? Well, John I listened to when I was a kid, and I got to know him really well, and then he asked me to produce him when I was about 21 or 2, and then uh, that's how I got into producing records, so he was an influence on music, my playing, but also on recording, and Vestine was my favorite electric guitar player as a kid, and we just became friends and later and started playing. What's your consensus about Terry Rob? How would you describe him as a player or any way that you want? Uh, he's a great band leader, for one thing, and a good friend. And, uh, I mean, there's just guys that, that play guitar who just keep getting better, you know, and don't try to get stuck in one style or just, you know, he's getting more unique and as the years go on. I mean, it's really, it's really a pleasure to play with him. Many, many have, have marveled at how at your finger picking technique, because it's different than almost anybody's. Can you kind of like just tell us how you do that? I don't know how to use a pick, so I just started playing with my fingers when I was a kid. And all the people I listened to were finger picking, so I was trying to play like them. That's really it. Callahan, John Callahan, I really like them. I produced Jeff's record. Moscow Brothers, yeah. Me and Adam, and we produced the record by uh, Linda Hornbuckle and Janice Scroggins, which is a really good record. Well, I mean, I, it used to be more fun to make records because the mixing process was more of a performance. But it does, you know, the technology's here, and you gotta, you gotta use it. And as long as the product sounds good, I don't care how it's recorded, really. So, Jeff, how long have you been working with Terry? Uh, since uh, this, let's see, this band started in 2002. But I've known Terry for a long time. Probably, you know. All told, probably a good, you know, 10 years. Some have attributed your, your volume swell technique to Roy Buchanan, but actually you learned that from, from somebody else. Yeah, from Rex, he did that, and he'd never heard of Roy Buchanan. Adam Scramstead, um, same same questions. How long have you been working with Terry? Well, uh, well, before I started playing this electric stuff, I uh, was really into John Fahey. Found out that he was how he was connected with John Fahey and his work and whatnot, and uh, wanted to get lessons from him. And went to a show, fabulous, and um, got hooked up to some lessons. And uh, told him one day, I just really want to get to be a good guitarist. And he said, Well, stick with the band, and, and you will eventually. So, or something like that, anyway. So. Um, he's just been really encouraging, he pushes me. He's super intense, that's what I like about him. And like Jeff said, you, just, you can't help but, um, but it hopefully improve the more that we play together. You're a finger picker as well. 
I am, yes. I perform solo acoustic blues as well, too. So. Do you know how to use a pick? I do know how to use a pick, but I only sometimes... Just cause I asked yeah, because sometimes yeah. Jeff, he's like, hey, will you play, you use a pick on that song? So I'm like, I, out of respect, I play with a pick. what we do so I said I like the complexity of what we do but I especially like the, the amount of, of improv that we do as well too Bucks with Albert and Chris Miller, and then the the Wasco Brothers, which is the band that Terry produced. That's a just me and some hippies down the Hood River. No, well, oh, that's right. No, and also we're I'm kind of the the Stone River Boys uh, Northwest drummer. That's that's Dave and, and Barfield. They got drummers stashed all over the country. Albert Rita here. I hear that um, you used to gossip a lot with Terry's mother. What, tell me some of the things that she would say about Terry. Well, she never really told me anything about Terry. She thought, well, once she did say he was kind of mean. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You said, here comes the loser. Tell us your history, some of the bands that you've worked with. Uh, well, of course, you know, a lot with Terry and, uh, I've played with most of the with Robbie Laws. Lately, I've been playing a lot with John Koontz the last couple of years, playing with him. You know, I like to play with every, a lot of great people to play with here in town, so I say, let me, I'll, I'll play with them as long as they keep letting me. The whole world is waiting for the day that Terry Robb, Jennifer Batten, and Joff Metz get to, to, to scrap it out. Thanks a lot, you guys. The Terry Robb Band, Puko.net.